So today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on Azaro Pour Ohm Limited Edition 2016. So you may look at this bottle here and think to yourself, that doesn't look much different than the original. And you're right. In fact, when I pulled this out of the box just inside, I was like, did they scam me? <laughs> did they pull one over on me? Or are they just sending me uh, the original Azaro Pour Ohm? But when you look at the bottom, you do see the limited edition lettering stamped in. I don't know if this is going to show up, but it does say limited edition. When you look on Fragrantica, this limited edition only has three notes, grapefruit, lavender, and cedarwood, which is quite a bit shy from the original, which has a pretty extensive note breakdown. Like I said, this is going to be my first impressions. I took it out of the box inside just to make it easier. I'm going to spray this one on skin and I'm going to go ahead and smell it for the first time and see what it's all about. So when this opens up, you get that original Azaroporum DNA immediately, but it's also evident that this is a lighter fresher, almost summer edition version. One other thing I want to bring up here is it's worth noting that this one is not called a summer edition. Uh, there is one from 2015, which is a summer edition, and the bottle looks much different than this one. And uh, that one probably would be a bit more fresh as well. This one, just limited edition. But I can tell by smelling it that it is lighter and almost a bit more um, modernized, a bit less old school smelling. So how did this come about? Kind of random. I never knew this existed up until recently, uh, but I was on FragranceNet. I was shopping through the new arrivals section, something I talked about in my video on how to spot, you know, different fragrances or whatever, and Azaro Porom limited edition popped up. Now on FragranceNet, they're calling it a summer edition. After going through and doing some research, this is not really technically called a summer edition. So it's kind of a, you know, a discrepancy on their end. Nonetheless, they had some bottles. I just checked before recording this video and they do still have some of these. So if you do have interest, I will link it down below. So that's kind of where this came about. Like I said, I had no idea this existed, but it's kind of cool that they found some random stock of this one and we can get our hands on it. Five years ago at this point, so normally it would be pretty hard to get this considering it is a limited edition. Whether or not it's truly fully limited or not you know that can be up for discussion a lot of brands do that where they make a limited edition but yet they're still making it years later and they've created a ton of it to where it's still on stock on discounters for a long time but really I haven't seen this one anywhere besides maybe eBay up until recently so that's pretty cool so you do get some of that grapefruit up top giving it a bit of a sparkling bright pop just a nice fresh opening the lavender comes through immediately no surprise there it's an aromatic fougere that's what you would expect and of course cedarwood you get cedarwood this is one of those standard three note breakdown things where they just give you the things that you they want you to smell but what i can say here is i do get a little bit of a just a geranium right typical aromatic fougere fashion um, that gives it kind of a minty green type of smell, which seems to work really well with this brighter, fresher version here. I also get a little bit of like a, a creamy sweetness, just a slight bit. And there's also something in here that I can't put my nose on. It's not quite necessarily herbal, but it's uh, just different. It reminds me of like similar accords and smells I get from something like John Vervedo's Artisan Blue. That fragrance itself has a pretty interesting note breakdown. You know, it's got a, a bunch of different green type of notes and it is very much a green aromatic smelling scent. And I get similar nuances between the two. I'm not saying this smells like John Varvatos or the John Varvatos smells like this. They are still different, but that's just kind of what I notice. There's a bit of a ever so slightly spiciness in here as well. I'm not sure if it's a ginger note or uh, something along those lines. It definitely seems like not like a black pepper spiciness or anything, but more of a ginger, ginseng, that sort of thing. Like a semi-spicy, semi-sweetness. It's a bit earthy as well, almost like a, a very light, subdued, mild vetiver in here. Again, along with that cedar wood, which they did give us. So while they're not calling this one a summer edition, I think it'd be pretty fair to say that it could kind of be. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to be your Dior Homme Cologne or Versace Pour Homme type of summer scent but it is lighter and fresher than the original, plain and simple. And along with that, it is a bit more modernized. It's a bit less old school smelling. I think this is something that maybe a younger guy would be able to pull off and enjoy a bit more than the original, which would be off-putting for quite a few young guys out there. 
If you were someone my age and you smelled a Zara Pour Homme, you would probably think it smells like a grandpa, and I see where you're coming from. While this one still carries over facets of the original, it is just a bit more laid back and simplistic and fresh and a bit more modern. For some of you, that's awesome. For others of you, you're probably like, eh, I don't really need that. I like the original, and I can understand where you're coming from as well. So far, I think this is a pretty solid flanker. I could see myself wearing this one on warmer summer days. I wouldn't do it when it's super, super hot. I just have better things for that, and I'm sure most of you guys do as well. But if it's a morning like this where it's about 70 degrees, a bit of a breeze outside, you know, it's just just perfect. It's just right. Great temperature. This would be a nice scent. It would be very pleasant and very enjoyable. Once it gets too hot, you may start to get sick of this one. And I think when it's too cold, it just wouldn't fit in. There are better options for that as well. From the same line, you could get a Zaro Porom Intense with a nice boozy touch, and that is perfect for wintertime. That's one of my favorite flankers. And this one may be working its way up there as well as being, you know, one of my top flankers from the line. I will test this one more. I will continue to wear it and I might come back with a full review. I don't know, depending on how much interest this video gets, I have a feeling not too many people are gonna care very much, but I figure, well, you know, I might as well go ahead and check it out as a first impressions and let you guys know if you want to grab a bottle, Fragrance Net at the time of this video does have some, so that's one way you can do it. It's aromatic, it's citrusy, it's green, it's fresh, it's it's really just pleasant. This is extremely versatile stuff. Like I said, it is a bit more of a summer edition, uh, but you could wear it for a lot of different situations in the warmer weather, and you could wear it all year round, even in the winter time as well. Just like with a lot of fragrances out there um, that maybe are summer scents, you can still wear them when it's colder outside. They just don't work as well. Kind of a similar thing here, but I do find this one to also sit into the signature scent category, like the original, to where, yeah, wintertime you could wear it. It would still work good, but I do think it is suitable for warmer weather. Depending on how picky you want to be and depending on how big your collection is, you know, you could have this one to be very situational specific or you could wear it for year round if you like it, doesn't really matter. I would say if you're a fan of the original Azara Pour Homme and you want something brighter and fresher, a bit easier to pull off, this is worth a shot. I mean, there's no way you couldn't like this one if you like the original because it smells similar, just fresher. I mean, maybe you could dislike it because it's taking away that barbershop aromatic fougere straight up all the way through a little bit and I can understand that but if you're just after a nice pleasant scent you'll love it. Now if you're someone who wasn't a big fan of the original Azara Pour Homme or just barbershop fragrances in general you might be riding the line here. You know, you can try it out and see. I would say about 50% of you would end up liking it. The other 50 would still be like, eh, you know, still not for me. Just kind of one of those things that you ought to make the decision for yourself. With that being said, you're probably not going to be able to go sample this one much of anywhere because it is kind of a limited edition and not too many people are talking about this stuff. But it's not too awfully expensive on FragranceNet and if you want it for your collection and you know, even if you don't end up liking it, at least you have it, that's an option. For me, I know I'm not going to be wearing this all the time, but I am glad I have it around. It's just kind of cool to have these limited editions and I know I will pick it up from time to time and wear it. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. That's my first impressions on Zara Pour Homme limited edition 2016. Again, kind of random, kind of weird. I had no idea this was a thing, and I'm sure a lot of you didn't either, but you can get it on FragranceNet. They must have found some old stock of it somewhere, so it's kind of cool if you want to pick it up and not pay, you know, some sort of outrageous eBay price for what is kind of a limited edition discontinued scent. That's why I always recommend browsing these discounters every day, checking the new arrivals, and you can find stuff like this. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.